Hello everyone and welcome to scardia.com. I am your educator Dr. Ali Imran and today's lecture is going to be on the introduction to chest radiology. In this lecture we will learn about various modalities on how to do the chest radiology, which modality is the primary one, which modality is the specific one, which one is the sensitive one, which modality is performed in which situation and how it is interpreted and how it helps us in the treatment. We will also learn about how to select this modality because we do not perform the battery of tests on every patient. We have to select a certain modality for every patient. Which modality to select? This will be discussed in the lecture and this will be taught to you on how to do it because it is based not only on symptomology but also on the pattern of the diseases and its severity. Next, we'll learn about different techniques of chest radiology. Now, different techniques includes the conventional chest radiology with both its PA view, AP view, lateral view and sometimes the oblique view. How these techniques are performed, what is considered a correct x-ray, what is considered an incorrect one, how it should be done, how it should be performed, how it should be inferred and how it should be exposed. All of it will be discussed in the lecture. Next, we'll learn about the routine chest radiography. That what is the chest radiography that is routinely done and that is the PA view. We'll learn the PA view in very detail, learn all about the viscera, all the organs, especially the heart, the lungs and the mediastinum. Then we'll learn about the chest radiograph search pattern. Now there is a saying that the eyes cannot see what the mind doesn't know. Now if you do not know what is normal from your abnormal, what is right, what is wrong, what should be located where and what shouldn't be there, you cannot discern the difference. And this is what will be taught in that lecture. We will teach you how to correctly go through the chest x-ray, which viscera, which organ to look at first, which parameters to look at first and which viscera and which part of it to look at the last. We'll also learn how this order goes, how you can even modify it according to the needs of the patient and the severity of the disease. Thank you everyone for watching Scardia.com. Here on Scardia, we have more than 1200 video lectures on medical education. Uh, they range from neurotransmitters to asthma to laxatives to herpes simplex. Please do come. We do await you. Thank you so much. You can get complete access to the whole lecture on Scardia.com. Thank you.